Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And another little tip here for keeping your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer secure. If you are a user of public networks, this is important video to stay safe once again, because many things can happen on public networks. They are hazardous and dangerous in general. And here's a few things that you should actually apply as a rule. First of all, if you have a smartphone that has data available, a lot of the um, service providers for your smartphone will also actually give you, and most phones now today have the, uh, the possibility of being a, um, a point, an access point for internet. So if you have enough data, and if you don't use that many data, that much data on a computer or a tablet, I would recommend, first of all, just connect yourself to your own um, smartphone for internet access. Um, I personally have available uh, 50 gigabytes a month on my cell phone as data. So when I go out and I go somewhere with a laptop, First thing well, I, that I will do, or a tablet, what I will do is just connect to my own connection. Because that one's secure, it's safe, it's your own little internet access, nobody else is sharing. And that is as secure as having your access at home, which is really nice. But in most cases, you'll want, to, because of data caps uh, that often are very low, or you don't have that access to a uh, smartphone, internet, well, you will want, of course, to connect to a public Wi-Fi. First of all, how to choose a public Wi-Fi, if you want to be snooped on, make sure that the Wi-Fi is secured. So when you look at the network list, see how all the different um, Wi-Fi networks around you, um, you need and to make sure that all of them have a little lock on the icon. That tells you that all of these are Wi-Fi that are actually uh, secure. So that's one of the things that you should always connect to. If there was no possibility of a public Wi-Fi that is locked with a password, it actually makes the data open and everybody can snoop on the packets of data back and forth from your PC, meaning they could see a lot of things. Um, so that is one of the first things to avoid any open network that doesn't ask for a password. Once you found one, the other thing that's very important in Windows is to make sure you are on a public mode for your Wi-Fi. When you right click, once again, on your Wi-Fi access, go to properties. Your connection is going to be either private or public. Private is for your home. So private, it sounds counterintuitive maybe in the way that they actually word it, but private is you want to be private only on your home. On your home connection, private means your, your PC is actually uh, open, it can detect and see other PCs within your own home. It can detect and see the printers, wireless printers you might have. Uh, that is fine for a access in your home because you're the only one connected and you're not giving that access to everybody else, hopefully. But public is what you want to choose if you are in a public Wi-Fi. The reason is your PC actually logs down. When you change to public, all the different ports where Windows can actually be discovered are locked down. It means your computer is invisible to others. It means everything where you know there could be some access to Windows in some way um, are shut down. And this makes it more secure. So you should always be in the public option on a public Wi-Fi. Remember that. That will lower the chances of you having any problems. If you are on a private network when you're on the public Wi-Fi, what happens is that your PC is discoverable 
it can technically be accessed by hackers and even infiltrated if um, there are some security flaws in some way that maybe you don't know of or if your PC is not totally up to date. Uh, but remember that public Wi-Fi are dangerous places to be. So be wary of that and choose the proper or the correct mode depending on where you connect. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.